Welcome to HTV News. Today is Wednesday, May 9th. I'm Connor. And I'm Ian, and here's what's happening at HHS. On May 16th, HHS will host the fourth annual Nancy Snyder Community Blood Drive. Every year, Hobart and Hammond have a friendly competition to pay tribute to educator and community activist Nancy Snyder. Each donation can save up to three lives, and if you're 16 or older, you could sign up at lunch periods this week to see Mrs. Parrish with questions. Students, did you put off ordering your yearbook until past the deadline? If so, there's still time. You can still order by bringing your money check or money order to school by May 15th. Online ordering is now closed. Don't miss out on getting yours. Order today. Seniors attending the class trip, the White Health form permission slip is due back Friday with a grade report attached. Please give this to Mrs. Nelson or Mrs. Roach. Now over to Ian for what's happening at HHS. Thank you, uh, Connor and Ian. The Brickhead Varsity Dance Team will be hosting a prep and information class on May 16th and 17th for anyone who would like to be a part of next year's fall season team. Final editions will be held May 22nd through the 24th. For more info or flyer, please see Ms. Torres in guidance or send her an email. The Art Department will offer lots of great classes next year. If you will be a sophomore, you can take an intro to 2D or 3D art to get the basics and learn how to draw, paint, use colors, and more. Juniors and seniors can take ceramics to play and clay all year. Students who have building, crafty, or artistic talents who need an AP credit but who don't want to take an AP exam can take AP Studio Art. There is also advanced 2D or 3D art for anyone interested in art as a career or who loves working in 2D or 3D projects. Some of these classics require that you meet up with Mrs. Buhite to present your portfolio to get into that class. If you aren't sure which option is right for you, stop and see her today in room 1120. Now back over to Connor and Ian for some more announcements. Join the HHS fitness movement. 10 to 15 minutes after you eat lunch on Thursdays, meet Coach Asika or Coach Eubank in the Great Hall for basketball. Outdoor walking club will begin again once the weather warms up. Seniors, if you do not order a cap and gown, you must do so immediately. See Mrs. Roach or Mrs. Nelson right away. Please bring your signed senior parade permission slips to your success period today. Students who do not turn one in do not participate and go to the ISS room when we are gone. Summer school applications are now available in guidance. There will be two sessions, June 4th through, 20, uh, to, through the 21st and July 9th through the 26th. Classes will run Monday through Thursday at 7.30 a.m. through 1.30 p.m. Applications are due back May 4th. Do you have great school spirit, leadership skills, role model qualities? Do you enjoy supporting our Brickies? Hobart High School cheerleading is looking for athletes for the 2018-2019 football and basketball seasons. Tryout application packets can be picked up after school in the gymnastics room on Monday, May 14th from 2.45 to 3.30. All potential cheerleaders must pick up an application. Physicals must also be turned in and or verified at this time. Cheerleading 101 review will take place from 3.30 to 5 p.m. on Monday, May 14th. For all of those who have a verified physical, practices will be held May 15th through the 17th from 3.15 to 5 p.m. and again the following week on May 21st through the 24th. Charles will be held on Friday, May 25th, starting at 5 p.m. Hope to see you all there. The online HHS newspaper is coming back bigger and better than ever. We are asking for students to submit pics of artwork or original pieces of writing to appear in the art section of the paper. Please see Mrs. Nelson with questions in 11:13. Uh, if you have something to submit, send it to the yearbook email address at hhsyearbook3 at gmail.com. Student. Did you know that there is a sharing table in the lunchroom? Instead of throwing away unopened food or pieces of fruit, you can put them in the cooler located under the new sign by the courtyard door so someone else can use them. It's a win-win. You're not wasting food, and someone who's hungry can make use of it. Thanks for your participation. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to Hobart High School Radio and Television. Hit that like button, and thanks for watching. And that wraps it up for today's announcements. I'm Connor. And I'm Ian. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day HHS. HHS.